So when my colleague Janice Rutherford announced her intention to run for the seat on the county board, I knew our region would have quality leadership if or when an indictment against Supervisor BN materialized. But I told both candidates that I would not be taking an active role in the campaign because I respected the rights of the supervisor given no indictment has occurred to date. I specifically told Paul that I would, however, be the first one asking for his resignation if an indictment occurred and that I would be supporting Janice if that did occur. Unfortunately, one of the first pieces of campaign literature from the supervisor was so ridiculous in its attack against Janice and frankly our entire community, city council management team, that I've decided to not stay silent in this race. I've said time and time again that my job as mayor is to correct misinformation about our community and I'm doing just that in the response I've taken with Supervisor Beann's ridiculous mailer and the action subsequent that of his consultant. Their campaign attempted to portray Fontana as recklessly spending. Janice was the energizer bunny, I believe, uh, who kept spending and spending. And what the mailer failed to mention is that those increases in spending were the result of growth, annexation, improvements like our library, Fontana Park, Heritage Community Center, Baseline, and Foothill Road widenings, and our senior community center construction, on and on and on. The list keeps going. I'm certain that more attacks against Fontana will continue, and I've stated over and over again I will not sit back quietly as misinformation is sent out to our community. I will also not sit back quiet, silently and condone the actions of those who approve such mailers. So I am proud to support Janice Rutherford as our next county supervisor and have no doubt that this woman of integrity will establish a level of ethics never before seen in this county. So best of luck to you in, in the primary.